Hello, it's Chris Maniak again. Uh, we are in our POG room at the SSC where we've mocked up the actual sewing studio. Um, so at this point in your project, you would have cleared out the whole entire space that you saw in the first part of the video. Um, and so you will see that we have our um, three or four runs of Logier um, that you will be building. And then as well as the demo tables that you'll be building um, these items here consist of everything that you will be building um, once you open up the space. This is our sewing department. So just a few call outs. Um, we'll start with the Logier. The Logier that you're seeing here, um, our sewing departments come in different finishes. So the ones that you're seeing right here, this gray finish, which is our A99 color with Logier. Um, is only in our new stores. So for this rollout, just be cognizant that the actual Logier will be uh, raw peg with white uprights and white shelves. So just uh, it's going to look a little different, but the height of the Logier and everything is the same. So once you have your space opened up, you're going to want to look at your plan and you're going to want to mark all of your tapes on the floor so you know where all of your fixtures are going to be placed. And then you're going to go ahead and lay out and stand all of your uh, basic Logier gondola sections. Um, just a, as a reminder, Joanne always requires that all Logier gondola is leveled properly. So not just uh, leveling the upright side to side, but you should be running a chalk line across these and leveling the feet. So that way all the pegboards are all going to be aligned uh, straight uh, for consistency of our merchandise. Uh, so please make sure that you guys are, are um, leveling the Logier. Once you level it and you get your Logier all hooked up, um, you're going to put end caps on and then, then these square nose shelves. The square nose shelves, if you look at your detail sheets, the, de the details show you the exact heights that these two shelves should be placed at, as well as the shelves that will be going on the end caps that aren't here in our mock-up. Um, also, the uh, Logier uh, end bases, please make sure that you just real quickly stick a level on the end bases and you're raising them up um, so they're not on an angle and they look nice so we have a good presentation. Uh, one of the big things I wanted to touch on, um, so there's no confusion, we have our Logier uh, extensions. What we don't have, and you're not going to be able to see in this video, but you'll be able to see in the detail sheets, is that there's a box rail that will be placed on top of these extensions. So if you take a look at these extensions, the guts of this extension, that actually um, there's some set screws in there that once you place the extension, then you need to tighten it so this extension can't come out. The issue is with the box rail, the box rail actually comes down inside of the upright this much, about two inches. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to unloosen these two set screws. You're going to have to let this, the guts of this extension come down at least two inches and then just lightly tighten it up so the guts don't fall out. Reapply it and then tighten the set screws so they're sturdy and in the fixture and firm. That will allow you to then place the box rail that you will see in your detail sheets. I apologize that we don't have them here for the video presentation. That will let you install them. If you do not drop those guts, they're not going to go in. So as far as the Logier, that's about it. Um, just a few call outs uh, here. Normally, uh, as you guys probably know, you'd have a closed base front or a CBF. Um, all of our sewing runs are going to have these slide-in drawers. There is a CBF that's made for these drawers that are installed down there. So there is still is a trim piece that is made exactly for this drawer. So each section of your gondola will get these. Um, I think that is it for the Logier. Um, so we'll go ahead and move on to the demo table. So these demo tables for this rollout are all going to be 8 foot. They come from a vendor called Excel, which is our millwork vendor. Um, they will come, um, both, pa both of the tables on one pallet. And then the, the legs that you see down here um, are not attached to the table. You do have to fasten them. 
Um, so you can go ahead and take a view of the bottom of the table. These are very simple to figure out. Um, the table you won't be able to see here, but where you put these connector bolts, the millwork already is threaded, so you don't have to figure out where the leg goes. It can only go in one position. So you'll have this whole countertop upside down, and then you'll apply the legs, install them with the supplied hardware. And then the next step after you get both legs installed, this trough also has, um, it'll be hard to see, but there's should be screws going all the way across this trough. And that can only go in one position as well. So there's not really anything you can mess up while installing this table. You're going to want to make sure you put the trough on first. Um, once you have all of that screwed together, you and another person can safely lift and rotate the table onto its legs. You will see that there's leveling legs on the table. Please quickly throw your level on the countertop. Make sure that the table's level. And then you are almost at completion. So what you won't see here in this mock-up here, because we just threw this together for you guys to be able to see what this looked like, we didn't drop any power to this table. So you aren't responsible for the table, but there is a few actions that you have to take to make sure that the electrical installation can happen. So you'll see here, excuse me, this. Keep in mind, obviously, all of this merchandise, sewing machines, um, these demos will, won't be on the table, and neither will any of the merchandise until after you build it. So there's two removable leafs. You can see that there's some knockouts to allow the cords to go in. If you remove this, you'll see there's a surge protector already in the trough. That will come from the manufacturer. So what you'll need to do is, if you take a look at this, um, we have not had our mill, got our millwork vendor to make a knockout in this. Uh, once the electrician uh, makes his install, what you're gonna, the finished product is going to be is a power pole, and it's going to drop directly into this table. And it's not going to go to the ground, so that's a very important. Uh, the electrician will overlap you. So just so you're cognizant, you're not... Um, responsible for telling him but it's always good partnership if you're able to let him know because you've seen it once you get a few stores deep in this rollout you're really gonna uh, understand what this looks like but what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make a cut inside of this uh, removable leaf uh, the exact size of the power pole um, those dimensions are in the detail sheets um, if I remember correctly, the power pole is two and a quarter by two and three quarters, but please refer to the detail sheet before making these cuts. There's also a photo of this insulation. Once you make this cut, the electrician is all set up. He will end up dropping a gutless power pole into here, and then he'll run his MC and put a duplex in order for this to plug in, and then the install is complete. Just as a general call out, um, which was mentioned in the first part of the video. Uh, this will be the last day of your install, the first day or the second day, depending on whether you have a two or three day installation. Uh, the third day will always be the setup of this department. That will also be the day the electrician is coming on site um, to drop the power. Last call out that you won't see here, um, what, the last item that you will be installing is uh, the chairs. So for this chair, uh, excuse me, for this rollout, the, the chairs, the intention that is shown on plan is for there to be eight chairs, six chairs, I'm sorry, at each demo table. Um, we had an issue with our vendor and we're not gonna be receiving all of the chairs. So just as a general call out, um, you do not have to post an issue that the chairs are missing. Um, the quantity that you're going to receive for the rollout is only two per side, four per, ta per table, for a total of eight. Um, those chairs uh, you can view in the detail sheet so you know what they look like. Um, they are nice, and the nice thing about them that you will like is that you don't have to do anything to install them. There's no installation of the legs. They're, they come um, all in one piece. You're just unpacking them and setting them at the tables. So that is it for the sewing department 